on my mind a lot lately and I was going to include it in the weekly vlogs I've been doing but I figured I think I want to make this one on its own. Let's talk about dating. As a lot of you know, I've stayed away from talking about dating and all of that stuff for a very long time. I finally opened up about it in my new book, Dare to be Kind. It came out at the beginning of June, which is available now. You can get it in the link below. Um, but I decided for that book specifically, I was going to open up about a lot of the things that you guys um, don't necessarily know about. For those of you who have been following me for a long time. I don't even have like my normal mic hooked up because I just am that eager to just talk about this right now. So if the audio sucks, I'm sorry. Anyway, as I was saying, I finally opened up in the new book about my dating life because I wanted to and it's something that you guys have been asking me about for so long. I mean, those of you who have followed me since Roman was in my videos and when we lived together to, uh, I don't know, he's the only one that you guys have really thought that you were convinced that we were dating and we were lying, but we were not dating, I promise you. Uh, and I'm not just saying that for this video. Why, like, I've been thinking about this for so long and now I'm like flustered and I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's start with this. Right now, I'm not dating anybody. I'm single, I'm me. And that's the current, the honest current situation. I have a, I feel like I go through phases with dating. This is, I cannot, I can't believe I'm like talking about this right now. I feel like shy. Okay, whatever. I'm talking about it. I'm 28. Why am I nervous? Okay. You know when you're in high school and you, you experience dating for the first time and you'll go to the movies or, or walking around at a store, whatever it is you do when you're in high school and you're dating. And it's so fun and exciting and nowadays you have social media and you're posting all these cute photos and when you're with your girlfriends, you're hanging out and you're talking about dates and comparing all of that stuff. Well, I didn't have any of that in high school. I didn't experience any of it. And it's not that I didn't want to. I wanted to have a boyfriend in high school. I feel like most girls my age at that time had the same Feeling. A lot of my best friends were dating and they would talk about it when we would hang out and I would sort of just sit there quietly and feel awkward and not want to talk about it because I didn't have an experience to share. And I was always ashamed of that. And I know you're probably watching this saying like, oh, I can totally relate. I went through it too. I'm sure a lot of you went through the same thing. But at the time, I didn't have you guys to talk to you and to reassure me that don't worry it's okay so fast forward many years into my early 20s I started dating and I was I was dating and I was meeting incredible people and it was fun and exciting and I felt like I was a 13 year old girl with a crush and I was giggly and happy and and it was so great and I felt like I was getting that that dating girly experience when I was 15, when I was in high school, but in my 20s. And at the time, I was finishing college. I was figuring out what I was gonna do. Now, this is where my, I guess my experience is a little bit unique and different. I was in the public eye. My TED talk had went viral like a year or almost two years when I started making the effort and going out and dating. And it was just a weird time because I was everywhere. My story was everywhere. It was on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. And I felt like there were times where I couldn't get away from myself. And I felt like at that time, without intentionally, without intentionally making that happen, I was dating. And I always felt nervous because I thought, does he, does he know who I am? Or does he want to hang out with me because I have a verified check on social media. Like all these thoughts were going through my mind. And 
I was very cautious, but at the same time, I was having a lot of fun just getting to know great people and and it was fun. But I was so busy that it was like, I, I never thought it was fair for the person in the situation with me because I I didn't want him just giving all, all the time and effort. I wanted to be able to give the same. And with my schedule at that time, I couldn't do that. And it was hard. The part of my, the public part of my life is great. I'm so grateful that I get to fly to all these places and, and meet all of you guys. But the reality of that is that if when I go that route, that means my personal and social life take a backseat, which is totally fine. But that's just the reality. I guess why I'm finally talking about this is because I'm finally at a point where I'm not embarrassed to say I haven't had a serious boyfriend before and I'm 28. I'm not embarrassed to say that anymore. I now feel more confident than ever because I was realizing that I was allowing, I was depending my happiness on a guy, on a guy who in my mind, I was thinking, oh, you're, you're being nice to me and you're flirting with me, so I need to talk to you every day and, and make this so fun and so great. And right away, right away, just because this has never happened, so I'm going to jump on the chance for this to happen, even if I knew that wasn't the right person or if I knew I was doing it because I just wanted to have someone to share moments with. And that, that, wasn't, that wasn't the right thing for me to do at the time. I'm the oldest of my siblings. Um, my sister is going to be 23 this year. My brother is going to be 20 this year, next year. And they both dated a lot and they've dated incredible people and are currently dating incredible people who have been so nice. But in all honesty, it was really hard for me the past couple years because we would go out as a family and my my siblings would be bring their boyfriend or girlfriend with my parents and then there was just me and i was like what am i like i don't even know how to explain it it just made me feel bad about myself i truly don't know why i'm opening up about all this right now and why we're having such a heart to heart um that's what I was going through and it's not like it was years and years ago this was recently and it still is something that I go back and forth with I think I poured myself into my work and traveling all the time because I thought I thought if I'm busy all the time I won't have to worry about not going on a date or I won't have to worry about being in a key relationship and doing all the fun things because I'm busy and, and that's what matters but my work is my passion. My work will always be my passion. So I think no matter what, at the end of the day, I'm always going to love and take advantage of the opportunities that are, are coming my way. I started becoming resentful to my friends and to my, the people that were, that were close to me in my life when they were, when they would start dating someone new. I would be so excited for them and I know, I know I genuinely was so excited for them. But in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, well, that's not fair. Like, how is it so easy for them? How do they get to go date someone else and I'm still just like, Lizzie, the girl that everyone thinks is so adorable and cute and wants to have fun with. It's funny because there are times where, where I'm told I'm so cute or adorable because I'm small and it's like, I'm 28. Do I still want to be cute and adorable at 28? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I still can't really believe I'm opening up this much to you guys right now, but I'm kind of happy that I am because it feels good talking about it. So where am I now? How do I feel currently about the fact that I'm not dating anyone? There's a part of me that says I wish I was, but the rest of me, a majority of me, has realized I was putting myself in these situations without realizing it. I was the one who was bringing the negativity into my life when it came to dating. I was the one who was causing myself to feel less of myself because I didn't have a guy in my life. And that is so dangerous, it's so dangerous. Here I am every day telling, telling you guys to 
learn to love yourself first and everything else will fall into place. I needed to take that advice. I needed to start saying, okay, I'm confident in myself. I've worked a long time to be confident in myself. And now that I am, I don't necessarily need to depend everything on a guy. Yes, I do want to meet my Prince Charming. Yes, I do want to get married. Yes, I do want to have kids and be a mom. Yes, I want to do all of those things. But if it's not happening right now, there's a reason. There's a reason I haven't been in a serious relationship yet after all of these years. I don't know what that reason is and sometimes I get annoyed with that reason, but I have to realize that when God, when God knows your heart and knows what he's put you on this earth for, he knows that he has that person for you. And I had to realize that I had to stop trying to go out and find that person because the more that I looked, the more I missed out, the more I couldn't find him, I was getting so upset and so down on myself and so negative about myself and thinking, how can I have this great career and do all these great things, but yet here I am and I can't find a boyfriend. Like, what is that? What is that? Why do we as girls or guys feel like in order for us to feel complete, we have to have a great career or be wealthy and have the great family and the great friends and the great boyfriend. Why do we feel that we need that? I'm guilty of feeling like at times I do need to have all of those things. But what I want you to take from me pouring my heart out right now, <laughs> what I want you to take away is that if you don't have that special someone right now, if you haven't met that special someone and you're frustrated and upset and you feel like you're trying all of these things, just stop. Just stop trying and turn all of those feelings into excitement and hope because I don't know when I'm going to find this person, but I will tell you right now that I am at a point in my life where I wake up every morning excited and ready because if today's the day I'm gonna meet my future husband, I hope it's gonna be a great one. I now pray for my husband. I now pray that all of everything is going well in his life and that he's growing at the same time I'm growing so, so that when there is a day that we do meet, both of our hearts and our faith and our love will be in the right place that it's supposed to be that and that it was always meant to be. I don't know, I feel like I just talked <laughs> so much so I, I, I don't know. I just really wanted to make this video and if it helps some of you, that would make me really happy. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I felt like I just, I needed to share that. I think one of the main reasons why I needed, I, that's been on my mind is today is my parents 30th wedding anniversary and I don't know. The fact that they still act like they're dating is so annoying and so cute all at the same time. But to see that I think is what gives me hope in knowing that I will find my special someone one day. And you will too, you will too. I can't wait until we talk in our next video when we do find them. And we're gonna be sharing our excitement and knowing that God always had a plan for us the whole time. <sighs> anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. <laughs> Sorry if this video was so long and rambly, but just wanted to get it off my chest. All right, love you guys, bye.